The founder of the $95 billion digital payments company Stripe has said he wants to see more Irish technology engineers. John Collison was back on home soil at a UL awards ceremony where he's invested in a new programme designed to attract the next generation of creators and scientists. His Stripe company is worth over $95 billion, but today John Collison was back in a familiar neighbourhood in Limerick, encouraging the next generation of tech engineers. Look, the tech industry in Ireland has grown really quickly and there's a shortage of software engineers, and so I think there's going to be all manner of solutions that we have to, um, uh, to solve that. We hire tons of new grads here in Ireland. That's one approach. We would like to encourage there to be more new grads with programmes like ISE. Stripe and the Soapbox Labs company have invested heavily in the new immersive software engineering programme at the university, designed to attract students to this sector for the future. My brother, he was diagnosed with autism when he was two years old and I decided to come up with the project because people on the, with autism often communicate with sign language. So I got inspired to make my project for that. My project uses artificial intelligence to differentiate between uh, insects or arachnids that contain vector carriers or disease and normal insects that don't contain disease. The tech industry needs more people but also needs more diversity. It's hoped the UL ICE programme can help that. Hiring diverse candidates, there's a very thin pipeline. But one of the ways we all know we can do it is to fix it at the early stage, just like here. How do we encourage the next generation of software engineers and the next generation of stripes as well? And so that's why we're here in UL today with the Immersive Software Engineering Programme, because we want to help kind of continue to grow and nurture the tech ecosystem. Selfishly, it's what we want at Stripe, but also it's what everyone needs. Cathy Halloran, RTE News at the University of Limerick.